ladies, if you aren't married, you definitely need to find a man who like uh, takes care of you when you're being crazy. Just saying. Good morning. Welcome back to Two Old Crows Homestead. Shelly here. Randy's taking the dog food in. Um, <laughs> we have an exciting day. One of my favorite days of the year. It's the Amish auction. So we are heading up to Hart County, Kentucky to um, go to the Hart County Amish auction. On our way up there, we're dropping this guy off at a friend's house. He has him and his wife have hens and they wanted to um, get a rooster and we have an abundance of roosters that need to go to freezer camp. <laughs> but I told him, I said, hey, I got a rooster. I will bring you a rooster. So this guy is going to get his own harem of little ladies that he's gonna take care of. He's super excited. Well, we just dropped off the rooster at our friend George's house. George and Tracy, and um, they are naming, what did they say they were naming him? Casanova. Casanova. Where did this, there's a lot of hills out here. Yeah, so you know, all the hills were going, cock a doodle do. <laughs> <laughs> so they're naming him Casanova. He's in a cage inside their chicken run and all the chickens, by the time we left, all the chickens were coming out and, um, you know, checking him out and trying to figure out if they liked him or not. So. That's taken care of. Now we are on our way to the fairgrounds for the auction. Is there anything that you're looking for in particular? Uh, it's really hard to, to decide because they just have everything. Just about Any anything. Turn left to stay on Goodnight High School Road. Just about anything that you can think of, they probably have it. Um, I know I'm looking for a tiller. I would like to get a tiller. The one that we use at our place belongs to a friend of ours and we need to give it back to Turn them. Left to stay on um, Road. We are, our daughter Jessica is looking for a pressure canner. So I'm going to see if I can find her a pressure canner. Um, they on set up a big, uh, they set up a big tent where they sell all kinds of plants so they'll have like garden plants like tomatoes and peppers and all that kind of stuff and um and they sell trees and bushes shrubs roses anything you can think of even like potted plants with pretty flowers and all that kind of stuff um i would like to try to find a couple more trees to put in our food forest um but other than that i mean unless we just see something that we're like oh yeah we could use that um that's pretty much it. I don't think we're looking for any animals this time. Last year, Jessica was looking for chickens and Crystal got a rabbit. But um, I may look and see, they've got some rabbit hutches and I wanna do grow outs this year. So I may look and see if they've got a rabbit hutch. So I don't know, but we will be back in just a second when we roll up in there. There's a lot of people here. All kinds of tents set up. They even have a bouncy house this year. Okay, two times on the bird boxes, two times your money here. Y'all want to see what Randy Randolph has to live with? See that hutch? It's a rabbit hutch. I got it for a really great price. And it's too big for our truck. So he's got a slew of Amish guys who are awesome, by the way. That are back there helping to get it in there. So I'm gonna go pay for everything and leave this to them and I'll give you a shot of what this looks like when we're done and headed home. Oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, and there he 
comes. Gray Dodge right there. With my big rabbit hutch on the back of it. Because he loves me. Also, there's a tiller back there. The uh, Amish guys that helped me load it. He told me, he said, you really impressed me. I said, I said, really, why is that? He said, because I thought us Amish people was the only one who loaded stuff like this. <laughs> Check that out. You can see back there, there's the tiller right there. There's that ginormous rabbit hutch on the other side. They had smaller ones, but you know, I'm just kind of like, go big or go home, right? <laughs> It's almost too big. It's hanging off the back of the trailer. We've got our strap down. Oh my God. We'll see if we make it home without it tipping out the back. So this is the tiller that we got. And there is the rabbit hutch. It actually has four apartments in it. Or compartments, whatever you wanna call them. And they've got like little hutches in them or rooms that they can go hide in. I need to clean all of that out. And we're going to put that right there on this side of that um, pit four, two by four that's going across there. So Randy suggested that we move that two by four over to this section over here because that's where the chickens sit there and roost during the day or whatever so yeah that's where it's gonna go <laughs> that is if we can get this off of the truck so sam and uh, her guy are coming down here and they're gonna help us but how many wasn't there like six of you when the when the Amish guys were helping you put it on here? Yeah, there was a lot of guys that were helping with that. I don't know if the four of us can do it because I have like no upper body strength. And Randy has a bum knee. <laughs> we'll see. So there it is. It's about four feet wide I think and it has um, it has these doors on the back that you can get into the there's like a room at the back of each um, I'm calling them rabbit apartments so there's a little room back to the you know in the back of it but you can access those rooms with these doors and then we put it up under the awning had to kind of bend up some of our tin. I'll bend that back down. But so the rain will just run off of that and then run off the back of this. And I'm thinking about painting it just to uh, help preserve the wood a little bit. But um, so we have our mamas down here and our daddies are down there at the end. And these are going to be grow out cages for babies. So I'm pretty pleased with it. It is hard because this is here, this thing right here that the chickens roost on. This right here, you didn't see that? Okay, that they roost on. And we wanna move that. There's not really, we can't really move it down here, but it stops the doors from opening all the way. It's, it's in the way for that. So um, we'll probably, either lower it down. Randy didn't have, those are kind of screwed in deep. So Randy's got to get a uh, screwdriver to get those out, but we'll probably just lower that down so we can get into the hutches. But I'm super excited about this. And to be honest, um, I was very, I was super excited about what I paid for it too. So yeah love going to the Amish auction, love getting deals. Um, like I said, we bought, the only thing we bought this year is the hutch and we bought a tiller. So like I said, the tiller that we have is a friend of ours and um, 
What is that? Is that a bumblebee? That's a big bee. You're a big bee. Anyway, it's not a would be. It's not that big. But um, we're going to take our tiller that we've been borrowing from our friend back to her. I'm sure she'll be happy to get it back. And um, really the only thing that we use a tiller for mainly is our potatoes. Um, but sometimes I'll till up a little bit. I don't do it a lot just because, you know, tilling disturbs the soil so much. But um, just on those occasions that we need to have it done. So we're also moving the perimeter of our fence that these guys are all in. Um, they're kind of antisocial from the ones that we have back there in the back that hang out in the barn over here. So uh, because we're moving the fence, they're out there in the area where the fence, you know, where it wasn't before. And they're out there picking through and finding whatever they can. Plus, there was a couple places that I spun out. You see those dark places that I spun out the tires of the truck? And uh, so they're digging through all of that too, looking for bugs or whatever they can find. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you all our day and and uh, what we got at the auction. Tomorrow, we have tons of stuff to do. Next weekend, we are processing I think four hogs and it's like I don't I don't like to process hogs when it's this cool but we just we need to get them done we need to get them gone and we haven't had a chance to do it with everything going on with the festival and all of that stuff so we've got a bunch of people coming over next weekend to help but um, tomorrow Rainy and I have got to clean the barn because that's where we process hogs and then I've also got to get our potatoes in the ground so We've got a lot going on tomorrow, but we had a big day today. I kind of feel like we're going to go inside and just chill for a little while. Um, I don't know. I might come out here and put some potatoes in the ground back there in the garden. We had three days of rain this week, and it was really... I couldn't get them in the garden because it just kept raining. Um, so anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Yeah, God bless you. Have a great day.